Hi there, welcome to The Motley Crew, the channel that showcases games from The Motley Crew fleet. Before we get into today's feature, we would really appreciate it, if you haven't done so already, if you hit those like and subscribe buttons, it does help us out enormously. Likewise, if you think you'd like to join the fleet or just want to play in divs with us, then send one of the fleet members a, a friend request and we'll invite you into the chat and take it from there. Anyway, I hope you enjoy today's feature. Hi there, so this game was played on Friday, I believe, I believe and as you can see from the title, Resistance is Futile. And it features Shannon in the new Dutch cruiser De Zeven Provincien. Apologies if that pronunciation is crap. We call it Seven of Nine, hence the title. And it also features Rock in the Cherbourg. Okay, so as you can see, the guys have spawned on the central spawn on Trap. Um... Since they realigned the spawns, it's much better now because the ships are actually facing at their respective caps. So, as you can see, Shannon and Rock are to the southeast of the Bravo cap. So they're going to push into the Bravo cap initially. Um, it's, I think it's the first game we've, where we featured the Seven uh, on this channel. I must admit, I've got her in port. I haven't played her yet. So it's going to be interesting to see how she fares. I know talking to guys who have got her and started to play her, they have uh, all recommended doing some time in training rooms and probably in AI just to get used to the airstrike feature which you'll see obviously in this game so unusually uh, on this cap and I think on most games where you have a, a domination three cap game the guys are going to push in and take the central bravo cap um, and as Jerk is always telling us, if you capture the centre, you dominate the map. And we see immediate, almost immediately the airstrike feature in operation. So he's put an airstrike out on that Rochester. I don't think he actually hit her uh, that time. But as you can see, the guys are pushing in now to Bravo to capture Bravo. And the blue team are also taking the Charlie cap as well. And first blood goes to the blue team. The New Jersey, as you lay New Jersey, does take out that Rochester. An airstrike on Atlantico over towards the Alpha Cap. And shots out as well. Yeah. So, hits on Atlantico, set off a fire, and they've taken the Bravo cap. And he's just looking at whether to do another airstrike on Atlantico. And I was playing in a, a match with Shannon uh, during the week. And he was saying he's actually got, or he did have then, he certainly had Atlantico set up uh, with an AA build. And she's pretty lethal to aircraft in an AA build. Arguably one of the best AA cruisers at Tier 7. So he's got fires burning on Atlantico. 
and the blue team have taken both Bravo and Charlie and as you can see they are starting to pull ahead points wise okay red team Zara takes out the Kansas and Atlantico takes out the York So blue team are now two ships down compared to red team's one. Airstrike on Otago. I must admit it will be interesting to see whether I know there are a number of ships certainly in the PC version that have this airstrike feature. And uh, we'll be interested to see how many of those come across to legends okay more shots out on Atlantic oh she's nearly gone red team Plymouth takes out Richelieu but Prince Heinrich takes out Atlantico so that's three ships down on the blue team to two on the red and you can see from the scores that with their two caps and two ships killed, they they are about 50, 60 points ahead of the red team at the moment. But as you can see from the mini-map, all the caps are within range so they can they can sit centrally and just dominate the whole map. And so far, Red Team are not pushing either of the captured caps, which is interesting, nor are they pushing Alpha, so they don't have any caps. Which means they're not accruing points as fast as the Blue Team. As you can see now, Blue Team have over 400 points. Yeah, we keep saying it. Caps are crucial in domination. Okay, red team Vanguard takes out Albemarle. That's now four ships down on the blue team. Compared to two ships down on red. But the blue team are still marginally ahead. He's just dying up an airstrike on Iowa. Oh, that Zara's very low. Yeah, she's gone. Wichita takes out Zara. Shots on Iowa. Red team are now contesting Alpha and Charlie Caps. As you can see from the points, they are quite a way behind, despite killing more ships than the blue team have. Iowa goes down to Prince Heinrich. There's a Plymouth pushing round there, and the Otago is out on the Charlie Cap. But as you can see from points, blue team are 300 points up. But both teams have killed four ships each. Targo's inching out. He's just eyeing up an airstrike on her. Shots out on Otago. And Vanguard is starting to push, as is North Carolina. Shots out on North Carolina.
Okay, North Carolina takes out New Jersey on the blue team. So blue team are now five ships down, but still have a substantial lead points-wise. And as you'll see towards the end of the game, that is going to have an impact on the final outcome. Yeah, Zoom is out there. And Vanguard, she's now pushing into Charlie and heading towards the Bravo cap. Airstrike on Vanguard. Bang. Fire and set on, by, on Vanguard by that airstrike. Vanguard's now within uh, Seven's uh, visual range. Another fire set on Vanguard. So, Rock and Shannon both done a great job holding this central cap and dominating the rest of the map. Red team have managed to capture the Charlie cap. Wichita takes down North Carolina. So, it's four ships left on both teams now. But, as you can see from the points, blue team do have quite a lead now uh, over 400 points up all Vanguard takes out the Wichita blue team Wichita and Vanguard is pushing into the Bravo cap Airstrike from Shannon on Vanguard. And you can see there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, that's Rock pushing towards Vanguard. I think he's going to sacrifice himself to take down the Vanguard. Yeah, bang. Bit of mutually assured destruction there. So that's three ships left on red team, two left on the blue team. But blue team still do have quite a lead points wise. And the two caps up compared to one on the red team. Okay, Azuma is pushing down uh, towards the Bravo cap. They know Shannon's in here. He's been there most of the match. Airstrike on Azuma. And shots out. Shannon's now pulling out of Bravo and angling away. Azuma is quite capable of dev striking him if he goes broadside. So he's. he's as I said, he's angling away, trying to present as small a target area as possible to Azuma. Okay, there's a red team cruiser has pushed in to Bravo. Otago takes out Prince Heinrich. Shannon's on his own. Yeah, shots coming across 
from the Plymouth. There she is. This could be a bit dodgy, for, as we say, for Shannon. He's now got two cruisers at least targeting him. Shots out on Plymouth again. She has a better view of his broadside airstrike out on Plymouth. It is going to be a close run thing now. Can Shannon survive? Gets a fire on Plymouth. Bang, there she goes. Okay, two cruisers to one. 400 point lead. A Targo comes round. She's very low. Shots out from Shannon on a Targo. Cap reset. And again. Airstrike on a Targo. Oh, she's nearly gone. Bang, there goes a Targo. So I think it's just that Azuma left and Shannon's got to angle away again. And just try and survive now. Last few seconds of the match, can he hang on? Yeah, nice one, Shannon. And as you'll see, once the team sheet comes up, yeah, top of the table, over 3,000 XP. And Rock, quite rightly, is in second place as well. But well done to the red team. I hope you enjoyed that. We will be back with more for you very, very soon. And it's, as it says on the screen, thanks very much for watching. We really would appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe button and keep an eye out for more features coming from The Motley Crew.